Well, Maria, I can tell you that Ben Affleck has written about Set in the world of jungles of India. And I think the jungle when he tells a story of moping at a young old boy boy project. who's guided through the jungle by his animal guardians, away from the threat. This comic book Bengal adaptation Tiger focuses on two teenage outsiders, this played by Laura Byrne and Scarlett Johansson. Check it out for its amazing performances that are both extremely fun and lovably dear. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Salah Talk Soul. Hope you guys enjoyed our Stranger Things review, as this week we will be reviewing Leica Animation's 3D fantasy adventure, Kubo and the Two Strings, and we'll recommend you guys a film of the week. So let's get right into this review. Kubo and the Two Strings is set in ancient Japan, and we follow the story of a young boy, Kubo, who is artistic, wears an eye patch, and is looking after his sick mother. But when a spirit appears, an old vendetta is reignited and Kubo has to go on the run as he's being chased by monsters and gods. And in order to survive, he has to find an old armor that was once wore by his samurai father. And on his journey, he meets some friendly allies in a monkey and a beetle. So I really enjoyed Kubo and the Two Strings as it was a visually immersive experience to see on the big screen, which was all beautifully bound by an incredible score. Animator Travis Knight and his incredible team of puppeteers are successful in creating a culturally enriching story which gives us fun and engaging characters voiced by incredible talents such as Charlize Theron, Ralph Fiennes, Rudy Mara and Matthew McConaughey which is all the reasons why I give Kubo and the Two Strings a big Sid Seal of Approval. So we're just about wrapped up and if you guys have a moment a great film to check out would be the 2009 Leica Animation Fantasy Horror Coraline and this is a great film as it's based on Neil Gaiman's 2002 bestseller which is about a young girl who finds a door in her house that leads her into a strange and mysterious world that is rather dark and sinister and is filled with a lot of secrets and you guys have to check it out for its incredible depiction of magical realism which successfully brings Neil Gaiman's wonderful world to the screen. I hope you guys like it. So I'm afraid that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for watching and join me next week for more Siddharth Talks Film. Take care guys.